In this inverted isolated cutout in EPDM repair, the existing undamaged insulation is set aside for reinstallation later in the project. Now it's time for the removal of the damaged EPDM membrane and the wet dens deck sheeting underneath. The deck is then swept clean using a professional power broom. Once all the garbage has been removed, new dens deck sheeting is set down and secured into place. EPDM membrane is laid out on top temporarily while it's cut to the required dimensions. A membrane cleaner is used to make sure the perimeter of the cutout is completely free of dirt and debris. Splicing cement is applied to both the new and old membrane along with a 3 inch strip of seam tape as per the manufacturer's recommendations. Once the release film is removed, the Atlas Apex roofing technician splices the membrane together by hand. The lap is then pressure rolled followed by the application of a lap sealant along all the seams. Now it's time to put the existing undamaged insulation back into place along with a filter sheet that traps dirt and dust while still allowing water to drain. Then, once the pathway is replaced, the ballast is returned to match the existing rooftop level. What you're left with is a very clean and concise inverted isolated cutout in EPDM thanks to the pros at Atlas Apex.